Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to another Title Town Hall. My name is Kevin Thatcher, and I have the honor today to have the world famous, best selling author, Tom Ferry, with us. He's the number one educator in real estate. He trains people across the country how to build a better business. So, Tom, welcome to the show today. I appreciate you taking the time to join us. Yeah, Kevin, thank you. And thank you for doing what you're doing. I mean, everybody that uh, everybody that's leading the way you're leading right now is the reason we're going to get out of this. So keep up the good work, man. Awesome. Thank you. So I have a couple of quick questions for you. You know, we, we authored a book titled Rescue Your Business, which is talking about the, the strategies that we learned from the crash of 2008. Um, mm -hmm. So tell a little bit, uh, tell the audience here a little bit just about who Tom Ferry is real quick, the Reader's Digest version. Sure. So uh, I'm, I'm 31 years in this industry. Uh, some people were raised on milk and cookies. I was raised on Mike Ferry, Earl Nightingale, Tony Robbins, Brian Tracy. Barely got out of high school, got a GED, was kicked out of four of them along the way. Always knew that I had something in me, just did not have a mentor to pull it out of me. When that happened, everything changed, right? So I've now done about 35,000 hours of private coaching sessions. My father and I helped pioneer what we all think of as coaching in the real estate industry. 16 years ago, I, I set up a path and started my own business. Um, basically on the premise that I acknowledge every single human being is different. Every market is different, right? Everybody's dynamic is different. Could we synthesize the very best practices from agents around the world? Because Kevin, we're in about 32 countries. Uh, could we synthesize those and then codify them into actionable things for agents to do anywhere? And, and that's really been my mission for the last 16 years. And today we help, you know, this morning, I've, I've already talked about 8,000 people, right? Including Istanbul. So it's, you know, it seems to be working. It's amazing. Everyone definitely needs a mentor. You know, we have your book here in the office right here, Life Thank by you. Design. And uh, I was watching your YouTube trailer where you talked about getting up at four o'clock and yeah. just getting your, your your day early. So let's talk a little bit about uh, how people can live an extraordinary life by design. What does that mean for them? You know, so, so may I give you kind of like from that book, the five questions, the, the, the thing that everybody should do if they really want to do it. Is that fair? Because it, it'll take a minute. Absolutely. So, so I was uh, in, in like 1999, I was at a place where um, I was beyond my own imagination of what success looked like that I was able to deliver enough value to the market, that I was married to a beautiful wife, I had two healthy children, I had a home in the desert, I had a home on the beach, I was running a great business, um, but I wasn't happy, right? Like I had achieved all these things, but, but I didn't really have fulfillment. So I, I sought out another mentor, a guy named Mike Vance, who some of you might know that name. He, if you read anything on Steve Jobs or anything on Walt Disney or anything about the salad bar or anything about Jack Welch or anything about Mother Teresa, minus the biography that was written, Everybody points back to this guy as being the most creative person they ever worked with. So think about just the names I just mentioned there, right? Steve Jobs, Walt Disney, like Mother Teresa, Jack Welch, right? So I knew him because he was a family friend and I, I pinged him one day and I said, you know, Mike, I'd love, to, I'd love to be mentored by you. I'd love to be coached by you. What would that cost? And he was like, well, I, you know, I haven't done that really since like Steve and, you know, Steve and I aren't really talking as much anymore. And I was like, He's referring to Steve Jobs. I'm like that's like that's just <laughs> cool, right? I was like, holy crow! Like this guy's a baller. And I, but I, I try. I stayed cool, and I was like, well, you know, like you know, if I could pay you for an hour, what would that be? And he goes, I don't know. He goes, maybe like four grand. And I was like, oh, how about can I get fifteen minutes, right? Like just being honest, right? So I was like, okay. And he said, why don't you fly to Miami and let's spend that hour together face to face? So I was like, great. So I get on the plane to fly to him. And I literally, Kevin, I open up my journal, right? Old school, right? Even like this morning, you know, writing my, you know, gratitudes. I start writing out. And, and the first question was, Mike, you worked with Steve Jobs from the very beginning before Apple even had a name, right? You, you worked with Jack Welch before he, you know, when he was the VP Choo Choo guy, not the Jack Welch legendary, who by the way, God bless him, passed away. You were Walt Disney's right-hand guy. His business card at Disney said, in charge of people and ideas, like, how about that for a title? I said, what did all these people have in common? Like, that was the first question. And then, you know, like 30 more questions, Kevin, behind it. You know, what about this? And what do you think about this? And should I do this? And have you thought about this? And, you know, just trying to pick the brain of a brilliant guy, but, you know, trying to soak it all in. We talked for an hour and a half about the first question, right? And of course, now, if you know anything about this guy, it's nine o'clock in the morning, we're in Miami, I show up, 
there's champagne, wine, and Cuban coffee. <laughs> that guy rolls. You with me? Right. So we're like, everybody knows Cuban coffee, right? So I'm like wired and then getting slightly buzzed because I'm following the mentor's lead of drinking in the morning, right? Don't recommend it, but just saying. But he said, I need to loosen you up so you can really dream with me. And I said, okay, well, what do I need to do? And he goes, all those people answered the five fundamental questions. So what do you think I did? I was like, uh, journal, flip, 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 flip. Well, what, what are the five fundamental questions? And he said, they all answered the first question, which is, why am I on this planet? What's my purpose? And I was like, could you start with something easier? <laughs> you know, can you give me a morning routine or something, right? He says, but Tom, understand that like, the moment you find your purpose, motivation is no longer a factor, right? How is no longer a factor, right? You're just going to, you know, once you know what you want and why you're here, you just go. And I said, well, how do you discover that? He says, well, you, you just keep writing down the question, what's my purpose? Why am I here? And then you just keep answering it over and over again until it finally hits. And he said, it may take you six months. And he jokingly said, and you might end up in India smoking weed, following around some, you know, Maharishi, or you could become the next great CEO of our generation. And I was like, Okay, I'll go for it. What's question number two? And he said, what do you value? And I was like, yeah, I've done this exercise before. He said, I said, why? And he said, because the busier everyone gets, the more things come out you. If you don't have your values set, you don't have a filter to say, should I do this or not? Should I try this or not? And I said, that makes a lot of sense, right? Like Kevin reaches out and says, hey, you know, would you, would you be on my show? And I'm like, well, my, my main mission is, I hold professionals accountable to achieve their greatness, right? And then all my values are set. So I'm like, well, of course, if I can help people get over the next level, yeah, I'm in, You're right, Kevin? Yes, I'll go for it. But then he said to me, the third question is, he said, what are your God-given talents? And I was like, oh. And then he asked it this way. What do you do that you would do all day long, but it makes a difference? And I was like, oh, so I can't just play video games or play golf? I was like, okay. I'm like, and I wrote down for the first time, coach, create, connect, and contribute. Those are the four things I will do all day long. I'll coach all day long. I'll connect people like, hey, Kevin, you got to meet this person. Like you guys are really vibe together. Like I'm, a, I'm, I'm one of those kind of guys, right? I'm like contribution, give back, serve, be of service. Like that's in my heart. Like that's like my core value. And then like, you know, contribute, connect, coach, create. I'm writing my fourth book right now. I've done 30 talks in the last, you know, five weeks, right? Just for my pivot clients, not including everybody else I'm talking to. I knew exactly what he said. And I'm like, I got it. But then he said to me, the last two questions are the big one. So think about, think about what Kevin asked me, right? Hey, how do you, like, how do you live your life by design? Even in the midst of this insanity for some people, maybe not for you guys, but for my clients in Milan, it's still a little hard, right? For my clients in Spain, it's a little hard. Right. For our clients over in Shanghai and Beijing, et cetera, it's a little challenging. Australia, New York City, New Jersey, right? Like there's certain states where it's a little different than, you know, maybe where you're at. But here's the thing. He said, you got to answer this question. It's 20 years from now. How have you impacted the world? And I was like, ooh, that's a big question. And then the last one was, if you were already there, who is that guy? How is he operating? What, what's he like? How does he walk? How does he talk? How does he think? How does he act? How does he educate? How does he motivate? How does he work with his team? What kind of business person is he? And like, he literally said, I want you to break down, like Kevin, everything that you're building towards. I literally spent six months on airplanes just with one, like I'm going old school journal, writing and writing and writing. And the second I got it, I haven't worked a day since. That was That's in awesome. It's amazing. You know, many years ago. So, I mean, we have so much in common because I barely made it out of high school. Uh, mm -hmm. And then when I got into this business, I was a firefighter actually before. And I moved down from mm -hmm. New York 20 days before September 11th. I was a firefighter up there and moved down. So, you know, my wife and I came up with this whole concept that, you know, we don't just do title insurance. We don't just do closings. We literally go in the deal together and we leave the deal together. And we make sure just like firefighters leave yeah. together, no matter what it takes, we're going to leave together. So, uh, you know, just listening to some of these things that I'm super excited to go back and actually replay this and start doing some of these exercises with our, our agents. You know, we work with a large realty firm, uh, Charles Ruttenberg Realty, which is now part of the United Real Estate Group branch. And, you know, they have a thousand agents here right in Fort Lauderdale. We've been their title company for 14 years. 
And it's all because we just add extreme amounts of value to their agents and and live a bigger purpose. So I appreciate hearing that from you, uh, from the master of it. You know, so that's super exciting. Not not the master, brother. I'm just a practitioner. Like I put my pants on same way as everybody else. I just follow a few different disciplines. That's all it is. Well, that's all. that takes me to my next question, you know, because we talk about a uh, routine and how people really become successful. So I wake up 5 a.m. every day. I train with the U.S. Marine. One of the hardest workouts I, I've ever done in my life. I was 300 pounds. I'm down to 200 pounds. I'm in the best shape of my life. Oh. Um, you know, so so I live life by a routine. My mm -hmm. wife knows that I go crazy when I skip a routine or something gets thrown off. I go crazy. So yeah. talk a little bit to the viewers here about how important is a routine and how it correlates to success. So I go back to one of the greatest books of all time. And all of you, if you haven't read it, you should read it. It's called The Slight Edge, The Slight Edge by Jeffrey Olstein. Um, in that book, he basically lays it out for you quite simply. Ready? Do the thing, have the power. That's it. Do the thing, have the power. But on the flip side, and this is actually uh, Thoreau who said this first, do not the thing, have not the power. So, so you know, you and I, Kevin, are, are very connected, right? Like everything I do is, does this give me power or does it not give me power? Does showing up on Kevin's session give me power? Does it energize me? Can I help somebody do the thing, right? Getting up for me at you know five o'clock in the morning, being on a Peloton bike at five forty-five with all kinds of people from all over the world that we all want to ride together, right? Like my own little community of us, right? You know, look, do I want to get on the Peloton bike? I'd love to sleep in, but the Peloton bike gives me power. Sleeping in doesn't give me power, right? Making my phone calls gives me power. Following my schedule gives me power, right? Having a date night gives me power. Getting the hot tub with my boys gives me power. I just make everything I do a routine. If you saw my schedule, it probably looks like yours. It, you know, intermittent fasting from eight o'clock until 11 o'clock, right? Like it's in my calendar, but only for like the last couple of years. Every day is in my calendar, Peloton, 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 Peloton. And then afternoon, weight train, weight train, weight train, weight train, lunch, 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 break, 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 call, 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 call. You know what the thing is right now? Um, what COVID has done is it's revealed who's disciplined and who's not. That's, I mean, I know there's a lot of tragedy and don't, don't get me wrong. Like, I know that, but what COVID has done is it's really, it, it's shown us who is resourceful and who blames resources. I've right? said for years, crisis creates opportunity. Yeah. You know, crisis crisis. Really, it really does. Um, you know, one of the things I wanted to talk about, cause I, I was watching one of your videos and you talk about the growth mindset and that done is better than perfect. So getting it done is better than doing it perfect. Can yeah. you explain a little bit more about that? So, so all the credit goes to the great Dr. Carol Dweck, D-W-E-C-K. And I would actually, I'm going to show you guys something else that all of you should buy. And there it is. In case you're wondering if this is a live show. Um, so Dr. Carol Dweck wrote this book called The Growth Mindset. Everyone looked at it and said, oh, that must be motivational. It wasn't. What it actually is, is more of her, um, her psychiatry thesis on what is the difference between someone that tries things and doesn't? What is the difference between someone that will attempt it versus doesn't? And we all know people in life that basically, as she calls them, are in a fixed mindset. Well, why do you do that? Well, we've always done that. It's what I do. It's how, but it doesn't work. Yeah, but it's how I've always done it, right? Like we all know people like that. So the growth mindset is I'm willing to try new things. I'm willing to, you know, run it up the flagpole and I'll read that book. I'll make that phone call. I'll use that script. I'll shoot that video to see what happens. Because inside of the growth mindset, it's about learning. It's about self-discovery, right? So she, she writes this unbelievable book. But the thing that I wrote at the end of it was done is better than perfect, right? Where most people get trapped in the fixed mindset is they get the inspiration, Kevin, like, okay, I'm going to try this, right? I'm going to, I'm going to do a virtual on zoom first time buyer seminar. And I'm going to teach people the five mistakes to avoid in buying a house. And I'm going to do the whole thing on zoom Friday night at five. And I'm going to do a PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to educate people, blah, 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 blah. Right. And it's a killer idea and it's working everywhere right now. But if you're in a fixed mindset, you're like, I don't know how to do that. And you're already done. Right. So I say, Hey, Hey, doing it's better than being perfect. Right. Yeah. Just trying it, just throw it, like, make the call Send Like everybody right now should set to text like a hundred people in the month of May. 
hey, with everything that's happening in the world, let me ask you a question. Are you living in your dream home now? With everything, and you could say, like, I'm doing a survey of everyone I know. I'm curious, are you living in your dream home now? You know what you're going to find? 75 to 80% of the people are going to say, nope. Nope. Now, you could be that, you know, that 18 year old dude who meets a girl and goes, oh my God, sex, right? Like, don't do that to people. Hey, you're living in your, I'm just doing a survey. Are you living in your dream home now? Yes or no? Nope. Right? Then don't say, oh, okay, let me try and sell you a house. Like, no, just say, say, tell me more about that. What would make it your dream home? Have you thought about remodeling? Have you thought about maybe changing the carpet? Have you thought about maybe getting some new furniture? Right? You actually divert them away from selling. So then they come back to you and say, well, actually, we're thinking about selling. You're like, really? Okay, cool. And you know, I can help you with that too, right? But if all you're, do if all you're doing is selling, then all you're doing is selling. You all know what I'm talking about, right? So that's an example. Like, Kevin, that's something that every single person could do right now. And if you text every single person in your phone book and you did a poll on Facebook and a poll on Instagram, so it was real that you're just trying to collect this data point, then you could say, hey, I just did a video or I shot, you shoot a video and say, I just, I just asked like 700 people, are they living in their dream home now? Like with everything happening in the world. And you know what? Like, guess what? 87% said no, right? Then I made some recommendations around what you could do with your garden, what you could do with your backyard, what you do with your garage, what you do with your kitchen, what you do. And, and so you don't just come across like trying to sell them a house. It's like reverse engineering their psychology. You with me on this guys? But I say all that to you and some of you are like this. I got it. Growth mindset. I'll try it. Well, what do most people say? Well, that could be insensitive. I'm not sure if I want to do that. All right, fixed mindset. How's that working out for you? Because they want it to be perfect. That's the problem. Instead of just right. doing it and taking the chances and uh, oh. you see it all day. I mean, we do about 100 closings a month in the peak of, of the market, obviously a little bit slower now with COVID-19. Sure. You know, there's a reason we're top five in the state of Florida and we're, the numbers we're doing is just because we do it. We go out to the events, we do it, we engage in the conversations, we reach out to our clients, we build that relationship. So I love hearing that. I know you, we only had a limited amount of time here. I have one last question because I know you do a ton of, you have a ton of resources and I know you have it in a product. So can we talk briefly about this pivot program? I've heard so much about uh, just for people that want the next level and they want that help. What I, what I would tell everybody to consider is this, that the business plan you created last October probably needed to be thrown in the trash around end of March, beginning of April. Um, so we asked ourselves this question, what are the tools? What's the technology? What's the language? What's the marketing? What's the tone? And what's the mindset required to help somebody navigate this environment that really truly wants to buy and sell? And then how do you do it safely? with great protection, Kevin, as you know, because when you truly go search to close and everything is digital, fraud can show up, right? So, you know, so security and protection is also a big issue right now. So we created this thing called Pivot with the promise of two trainings a week. We've averaged five and a half trainings a week. So if you just go to tomferry.com, click on Pivot. If it's valuable to you, check it out. Um, I will tell you this, it's like, $99 a month, no contracts. If you try it and you just go through all the 30 trainings that are already there and you eat that up and you love it and next month you don't, no harm, no foul, right? You don't have to be perfect at it. It's a growth mindset, fixed mindset. If you're growth, you're like tomferry.com, I'm going right now. If you're fixed or I right now, eh, eh, then it's okay. And God bless you. It's all good. Like, I don't care. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, I think people I've invested a lot of money into mentors for for in many different areas of my business, just like training with the U.S. Marine. You know, people tell me, well, why don't you just go to the regular gym? I'm like, because I'm not going to do it. I want the, the I want that engagement with someone who is better than me and someone who ha who believes in it and who, who lives the life every single day. Um, so it's, it's just about having a much better life and about wanting yeah. more for yourself. And I think now more than ever, the products that you're offering, I think, have much better value to the people that are home, like you're home right now. You need to step up your game, get better tools in your toolbox. So Pivot is just simply a tool in your toolbox to take your business to the next level, which is what we're all about. We want to bring added value to them to take their business to the next level. Yeah. Uh, and I think you've done that today. So I appreciate you taking the time. We're just at a 20 minute mark. I don't want to take any more of your time. 
And uh, hopefully, you know, maybe we can do something again in the future. And, uh, you know, your content is amazing. I've been watching all of your YouTube videos. Uh, whoever manages your social media probably knows my name right now. They, they see me commenting on things. You know, I'm one of those that I give the credit where the credit's due and the content is just fantastic. And I, I hold the license myself in real estate. I don't practice, but I've been down that road. So I know how important it is to have a product and a coach like you on their side, someone who has failed before, just like me. We've all failed because in order to be successful, you need to fail multiple times to learn your lesson. So thank you for taking the time. You got it, my friend. So keep up the great work and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, everybody. Hey, May is the month of breakthroughs. Make May your month where it's absolute go time. Like set more appointments this month than you've ever set in your life. Limitless, right? If you're going to doubt something, doubt those lies you've been telling yourself. Make sense? All right, Kevin, I got to bounce. Thank you so much, everyone. Don't forget, work hard, play hard, be safe, never quit. We'll see you on the next live episode uh, coming up next week. Any questions, give our office a call. Thank you very much for watching today uh, with best-selling author Tom Ferry, the number one real estate coach across the country. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Enjoy your weekend.